This is how I jam. I'm I know so how to do this. Are and we're live. Right? We're live. We're, we're live. Okay. <laughs> 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 we did it. <laughs> Hello, friend. Where's my beer? There, there we go. <laughs> we got beer. Brian Cheers. is making audio. Cheers, guys. Thanks Cheers. for joining us. Cheers. We have friends here with us Cheers. today. Cheers. Say hi. Cheers. Cheers. Do we have one and two? One. I can do this. Cheers. Look at all of us now. Here Yay. We are. Yay. <laughs> we did it. Awesome. Well, okay, so today we have a studio audience. Brian and Laura. There they are. They're chilling over there. We got a fire going in the background. Brian's going to be in charge of putting wood on the oh, I am? the fireplace. I just <laughs> I just told him about that. There's a fire extinguisher. I literally just told him that. <laughs> he flunked out of Boy Scouts, you guys. No. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to put it all on it. How many levels do we have? Four? He's going to put some logs on the fire. He might take the plastic off first, too. Okay. No, yeah, that's, that's okay. So tonight we are making ceviche, which if you don't know what that is, it's fish cooked in citrus, so like lime juice and lemon juice. Mm -hmm. So it's raw. We've got um, some mahi. Really beautiful fish. Yep, we've got our mahi fish, raw. We're gonna chop it up and put it in some lime juice for about an hour. So we're gonna actually get that started right now because it's gotta sit for like 45 minutes. And while we go ahead I guess my invite got lost in the mail. Jeff, you know you're gonna have an invite. Aww. All right. We want to test it out. Let me. Uh, All right. So I... we're gonna we're gonna chop up this mahi, and we're going to put it in. Incredible. Yeah. Well, how big? Do we think we need the big guy? Or no, we don't need a big guy. Medium, medium guy. Good. Medium one. That's fine. We got a medium guy. So to kind of piggyback off of what Kale said about um, the acid cooking the fish. So basically, the acid will break down the fish, and um, it, it, that's where it gets cooked. So this is kind of a, low, a, a slow process. Um, you want to chop over here? Actually, yeah. should we leave these for vegetables, and you can chop yeah. with that? The meat can be here. Okay, cool. So we went to Empire Fish again. Shout out to them, because they, again, served us really, really nice fish, fresh fish, delicious fish, and they cleaned it for us. So they took the skin, the bones off, and um, made this process nice and easy. We were gonna do a snapper, um, but mahi is a bit of a, a meatier, steakier fish that can really uphold to that acid breakdown, so you won't get any sort of a like mushy fish. Tonight, um, Brian and I are drinking Hot Butcher, which I threw away the can. Oh, I'm gonna dig in the garbage. It's called Mo Onions. Mo Onions. And it's a. Um, Mosaic Nelson Sovin Simcoe Hop Double IPA from Chicago. And Laura and Jazz. We're drinking a Cure Royale, um, which is a Chambord. So an ounce of Chambord, and then you put um, four ounces of bubbles. Uh, so a dry brute, because you don't want it to be too aggressively sweet. Cure Royale is just a classic cocktail. Again, I'm a, I'm a nut for classic cocktails. And you can put a little raspberry in there, let it float, and then you eat at the end, because it gets nice and drunk. Wait, it gets what? Nice and drunk. <laughs> they mean like what the Hemingways, like last night. Oh yeah, I fell asleep right out away. <laughs> like ten o'clock. <laughs> and then I didn't get out of bed till nine thirty. <laughs> Life is good. Oh wait, no, well we had that frozen pizza, which was really tasty. Oh we did have the frozen pizza. Frozen pizza. Yeah, that and, was that was really tasty. And then I wanted chips and good thing we didn't have any chips because then The other things we're gonna make. Oh yeah. Are chips. <laughs> chips, plantain yeah, chips. We've plantain. got plantains, which is what? You, what is a plantain? So plantain is a it's a banana. It's a starchy banana that you'll find in the Caribbean. Um, very common in Puerto Rico. So I am Puerto Rican, and the way you say you is, are, yes, see, si. um, what we call them is plantains, plátanos, um, and they're amazing. So you can deep fry them. You can blend them up. Um, this is definitely a, a, a nice home spot where I, when I eat these things. So you get to see these at the store, actually. You could see them with, in a bag. Oh, we have three. We could juggle them. Don't juggle the... No. 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 Just let me try once. No, Kale. Just, it's fine. It. You're going to bust the banana. I'll do two. I'll do two. Oh, jeez. We need food. Okay. Oh, God. This is happening. So... <laughs> 
See, all you have to do is pretend. I could do three. A round of applause. I could do three. I could do three. No, you cannot. It's not. We see. I could not. <laughs> I can't do three. I can't do three. You can. Do Great. Three. Okay, so we got those. Um, <laughs> I guess I can start doing those, right? Uh, no, no, no. Because this is a cool process. So we want to kind of. Well, okay, cool. But what you could do is, while I'm dicing up this fish, um, one thing I didn't mention. So you see this like dark um, meat. It's not necessarily bad. It's where like the spine is at. Um, so I basically cut it out. It's kind of unappealing on the eye, but it's that tissue that's in between the fillet of the, the fish. So it's like right there in the bone. So oh, I removed no. it. You don't have to eat it. Fries are done. <laughs> right. <laughs> it has a 30 minute timer, so you can be safe. Ooh, that's the wrong camera. It's a it's a safety. Three. It's a safety thing. I mean, the fill line is also a safety thing, so we make sure to. <laughs> <laughs> so is there a fill line? Yes, there, there is. a fill line. All right, so I know I ask you guys to do this every single time, but. Oh, what's our drink word, by the way? We never. Yeah, but we should blast this out, blast the link out to as many people as you can. It doesn't matter if you know them a little bit or at all in your contacts list. Just send them a link. They're gonna, they're bound to click it, right? I mean, everybody yeah. does. That's how we get spam. See, my, my two friends here, they're going to demonstrate how to do it. Put it on your Instagram story. Oh Put God, it everywhere. Just camera. text Just text it to whoever. Text the link for this to whoever. It's going to be great. Thanks for watching. Also, thanks for watching. You should, uh... So we're going to make a margarita. What's the drink word? Oh, wait. Yeah, the drink Juggle? word. Juggle. 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 All right, so... Let's do it. Jazz is going to move her cutting board over. While she does this. Wait, I'm moving, I'm almost done. I know, she's gonna cut right here. Okay, I'm cutting right there. I'm going to make drinks. Bloop, 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 bloop. And that requires me to move a camera in front of our friends. But they don't mind. They don't mind. Especially if it results in margaritas, we definitely yeah. don't mind. Oh yeah. Okay, so. Oh, I forgot to grab the simple out of the fridge, I'm sorry. Um, oh, you know what? That recipe doesn't call for simple. I think I did that pur purposely because you don't really like simple. Okay, so Jazz is chopping. I'm going to make a drink. We don't need these over here. My beverage? Or no, your, your bananas where you juggle? We're going to make a margarita. We don't put plantains in margaritas? <laughs> we could. <laughs> and... I have ooh, we're running out of tequila. This is a problem. Well, is that the uh, whole bottle? What does everyone want? We have either... Blanco or Repo? Oh, yeah, that's right. We have both. Ooh, test question. What does Repo mean? Reposado. You're asking me? Yeah, remember? Rested. Rested. There we go. Bing, 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 bing. All right, so we're going to make one of these because we all kind of have drinks right now, but I want to make one just so we can have it. Um, it's like one and a half ounces of tequila. I've never seen you measure tequila before. Really? <laughs> he doesn't really like that. It's just like tequila. Oh! oh! Oh no! Oh, I'm so, so close, close to not happened? breaking. What happened? Wait, um, barley, 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 come on. Come here, Something happened. Thanks, guys. It's okay. Oh no. Okay, well, malfunction. Things you guys. <laughs> Lord, you gonna... It's okay. Everyone's all right. This is fine. Um, yeah, Brian, Brian, this is your fault. Well, I put the glasses there, thinking that they wouldn't break. So I'm sorry. We have to get the glass out of the house, though. So it's bad luck if you leave it inside the house. Yeah. We do. It's okay. Wait, you know what? Um, oh. You guys, we have man down. We have a vacuum. Yeah, I'm gonna vacuum it real quick. <laughs> so, uh, you guys, um, we got a vacuum. vacuum. Real quick. No big deal. Okay. It's gonna be loud. I muted that microphone. Thank you. No, I mean it's okay. This is this is totally normal. Stuff like this happens this is how all the time. Shows work. <laughs> Done. I think there's like. Oh shit, that's a big piece. <laughs> <laughs> Done, no pieces. Uh, actually, there were pieces. Should we do kind of like a touch feel? Here, I'll set a light. You're fine. Do you have this color? Yep. There's one right there. You see it? I've got one right here, too. All right. I gave Barley a chip and there's literally a piece of it in his little neck beard. Really? Yeah. Okay, it kind of just fell right over here, right? Okay, so... 
I think that was fun. <laughs> that was a oops. It's a oops. That's okay. How much tequila did I put in here? Okay. <laughs> um, this is our lime juice. I think we're good, right? Kind of just dip About this. one and a half a lime. Yeah. That's almost two. Our we have the simple, which is good. not out here. Yeah, I don't see is in here. Thanks, guys. All right. <laughs> All right. Um. So, Gail's making the drinks. Yum, yum, yum. Here we go. I'm going to rinse this board real quick. That's a highlight. <laughs> <laughs> it's never a dull moment. Oops. This okay. is real life. And usually we use like Cointreau, but we're using Grand Marnier because that's what we have. Um, and another word too, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this term, but a Cadillac Margarita is used with Grand Marnier. Um, so if you guys don't know what Grand Marnier is, it is an orange liqueur. With cognac? With cognac. So you, you definitely have a, a deeper, bigger boulder, and you could also just replace this with triple sec, um, but we like it to be a little bit more boozier. Okay, so. So you got. Um, we got a little bit of ice. We'll put one of these. It looks pretty. It I does. Mean, we gonna do salt rim or no? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do salt rim. Here, I'll cut the slime for you. <laughs> you guys, I'm a mess today. <laughs> it's okay. I am an actual mess today. Here we go. So you kiss the rim with some lime. If you want to make it spicy, you could put a little bit of like chili powder in it, which is super good. Um, I'm a big fan of that. Or you can get taki, which is also like another replacement. It's like a salty, spicy blend. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Don't get too excited. I might break another glass. It's okay, we have plenty. Ta -da! Thanks to Brian and Laura for giving us these glasses. <laughs> Is it good? Oh my god, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Barley oh likes god, tortilla yeah. chips. So oil spilled on the second episode, broken glass on this one. We're gonna have to start a pool to see what breaks <laughs> or goes wrong each. You know what? That's probably not a bad idea. We could have that. <laughs> Wait, who said that? Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so now, now we have the mahi. All right. And the cool thing about this, so we are using a metal bowl, and we're gonna put. Oh, uh, what did you miss, fresh? I I broke a glass. I wish I had like instant replay. I was like, this is amazing. This is amazing. Brian was like, I'm surprised you were actually measuring tequila. You never measured tequila. And then I grabbed something. I First, I knocked this off. This fell. And then it didn't roll off the counter. I'm like, yes. And then one of these glasses rolled off. And then it landed fine. And then rolled into the wall and broke. Are you serious? Yeah. I saw a That's dumb. It was amazing. Anyways. So. We have the fish. Which... Lime and lemon juice are both going to go into this. So it's about a third a cup of each. So I have a third of a cup, and this is lime juice, right? That's lemon juice. So a third a cup of lemon juice, freshly squeezed. And, and this is our lime. You want to? Juice. And the reason why we're doing this, um, we're putting this in first, separate, because again, we're going to break down the proteins in the, in the fish and essentially cook them. I didn't get angry. <laughs> well, the other neat thing about YouTube is, unlike Twitch, you can, like, a fresh one to see that, you can go back a couple minutes and just play it. Oh, YouTube, you can? Yeah, you can just scrub backwards. Oh, yeah, fresh, so you can scrub back and you can watch it. I wish I could get a little bit closer in this, but you're going to kind of see the fish kind of turned white already. Yeah, so. put it up to the camera. So it's kind of... Oh, like, God, it looks like... It looks, that looks like fish, too. <laughs> um... But yeah, in person you can see it, it'll turn, the, it, instead of it being a fleshy color, it turns a little bit darker, which is cool. So. Fleshy. Right now I'll show you guys. So you can kind of see it change colors. Yeah. You can see like the muscle mm -hmm. lines. And while Jazz is doing that, I'm going to set up to shave our plantain chips. Put this in the fridge. Hey Siri, set a 45 minute timer. 
she didn't listen to it. So these are plantains. Hey, we're going to turn these into the long strips and we're going to fry them. Do you want to do it here? Right there. Uh, yeah, I can do it right here. Counting down. I'll do it right here. Cool. And then I will lay them out. I'm here. What camera do I need right here? I need one in four. So I grabbed a baking sheet and I put some paper napkins underneath just to hold it. Um, another thing too, all you want to rinse these off um, because they're going to be kind of crusty and like dirty. Did we do that already? I did it already. Yeah. Okay, good. Because you know I wouldn't have. Kale wouldn't know. He would know. It's fine though. This is called a mandolin, <laughs> which is basically like a sharp, yeah. cutty thing. <laughs> it's got a big slicey guy right there. Yeah. And you can oh. adjust how thick you want these. So we're gonna. This is how we're gonna cut the chips. Want me to grab so the protector? little thinny guy. Yeah, we have a little. This thing helps you like grab on to the, the thing. The, the thing. thing. The thing. The thing. You got your first aid kit ready? Oh yeah. Yeah, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's well, right there. I was gonna there. say I have a tourniquet, but I don't because it's in the car that is in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just so, want to see the thickness. Yeah, that seems pretty good. So he, he peels off a couple of them. Um, those couple we're not going to use. And that one is pretty good. Yeah, this is all good. So I'm going to lay them out. And we usually do these plantain chips just a little bit thicker. Perfect. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone thick. heard that. <laughs> thicker than a snicker. <laughs> yeah, that thing's like razor sharp, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're sharp. So it's funny, we actually, we went to um, Target and we got a mandolin. And then we went to like the, the Spanish store where they sell like, 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 um, like El Rey. But I think we got this actually at El Rey, right? This one? Yeah. yeah. And this one we might get way one better more out of here. than the one at Target. Like it's like, it's this so one's legit. It's legit, yeah. Perfect. One more? This is also, no, that's, you're done. You're done. <laughs> you're done. One more. Okay, listen to me. <laughs> So the reason too, like we actually we learned this from um, from the movie or from the show Chef, right? What? The two gals that have that one store in New York, I think. They do um, the two. What were their names? I forgot. But they're the oh, ones that taught us to, right. just to leave the skin on because the banana is so starchy and sticky, kind of like a, a Christmas tree when it dries out. Um, these are really cool. Like, if you leave the skin on, it actually it's, it saves you so much trouble. You don't have to peel it. And when you deep fry it and make it crispy, you can't even tell the skin is on. And I never do this. This is always Kale's job. Woo! Well, these are fun. Rinse them. I wish you all could see how close Kale's palm is to that. You don't peel the plantain? Uh, no. I don't know if you just heard what Jazz was saying. When yeah. when we fl uh, fry them, you really can't even tell that the yeah. skin is on. Unless you are making like tostones, which are like the, the the chips that are like with and like you smash them. These you don't have to do it because it's already so thin you could barely even taste the skin. Jeff, I can't watch. Be careful with that thing. Oh no. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> They're scary. I I was really scared when we first, and that's pr probably a an issue. You have to still you have to be scared the whole time you're using them. Because as soon as you're not scared, that's when you slice your sh stuff off. Oh yeah, we can't swear because Nyla's watching. But I do it all the time. Naughty words! Uh, maybe one more. Okay. Oh, this one broke. That's, that's okay. It's okay. Chip. So now we got our, our cheeps, which we will fry. We have one more banana. We do? Yeah, right there. Oh, right. we do. You guys, we got one more. So does anyone like Puerto Rican food? Yes. 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 What's your favorite? Um, my sister-in-law makes empanadas. Yes. From scratch, yeah. and they are amazing. You guys, I can't keep stuff on the. My sister-in-law is half Puerto Rican. Counter. I love it. Mm. My favorite um, is they call it reno de papa, so it's like a potato ball with a like, ground beef. It's so good. It sounds amazing. It's so good. I have never made it before. Maybe we should try to make that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got these Jungle, ready to go. Juggle break. Juggle break. All right. So now that we've sliced these, we need to put the potatoes we're in the We're delayed because we're casting from laptop to TV. Ah, okay, gotcha. It's called apples and bananas. Apple I know. Let's, uh, let's get those potatoes ready, too, love. So. Oh, yeah. You want to put that in the, the sinky? So, so this is done. 
we are making a twice baked or twice fried potato with chorizo and crema. So I'm just getting one of these guys, a baking dish, laying it down with parchment paper and just putting this in here and putting them whole. This is kind of a slower process. Um, I'm gonna, actually, this one's kind of big, that's fine. I'm gonna douse it with olive oil. And then don't worry about salt because we're gonna salt it later. Plus, we're gonna put some really salty cheese on it. And we're gonna smash them. And we're gonna smash them. So this is just kind of helping. How are our friends doing over there? I need to get some of those spouts. What, what spouts? spouts? The ones that are on your yeah, oil. Yeah, grab right. that. Get, get in there. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> Laura's like, yeah. Is the camera on us? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was, but you were like, <laughs> can I have that? Yes, Laura, you can. It's you my can. first day off in 14 days. Cheers. Deserve you can it. Have. People of the world, do not go to an ER for just a COVID test. Please utilize your oh. city health departments. We were at uh, Myers today and they gave us N95s. Yeah. Uh -huh. We got six of them. So I know Chicago next week is passing them out in like Walmart, Targets, uh, CVSs. Um, yeah. The city of West Dallas is giving them out at a bunch of different locations and you can check out their Instagram at city of West Dallas and they will have everywhere listed. I think it's going like by, they have a bunch of different days listed. So the potatoes protect sound incredible. Friends. Hot shots. Seriously, no kidding. Whenever this camp trip happens, y'all are on food duty. Dude, I'm in. We're doing a camp sure. trip? I want, Fresh has been doing a lot of camping and I want to go. We need to go. So tell bad. Him to, tell him to come up here. We can, we, we can be halfway somewhere. Yeah, we could totally meet somewhere. It'd be amazing. Like, as long as it's not in Illinois, because there's no, no we'll, good we'll potatoes and chorizo go so not. well together. <laughs> we'll to Unless you guys they, see they uh, that one place with the water, um, the waterfalls. We'll have to um, go somewhere along the Mississippi. Mathiasen. All right, you guys. Salsa. Um, we're gonna start making the salsa. So we have to. So last salsa. time we made a salsa verde. verde. This time we're making salsa roja, which is just red. It is with chipotle peppers. Really good. So we're gonna use. Um, what, what, what's my camera here? This guy. What we've got chipotle, we've got tomatoes, we've got onion, we've got a jalapeno. Hey, yeah, let's do three. Three tomatoes? And we got salt, pepper, garlic, all the use. So this stuff, and like the last time how I boiled everything, this time I am going to... Scorch the crap out of it. Scorch the crap out of it. Watch out, you're, there's a cable right behind you. Moving. Um, so I got your pot right there for you, love. So I'm just going to kind of just rough chop all these things. While Kale's chopping that up, guys, I did start up a, a big pot of boiling water. Um, and that is for what? Elotes. Which making is? Mexican street corn. Yes. Which is thebomb.com. So it's a big stock pot, and I'm going to put some salt in it to really add some flavor. Is the pan on? The pan is not on, but I can turn it on. Yeah, turn it on full blast. Full blast, and it's gonna get a little stinky in here. It's gonna little, get a little stinky in here, and it's not me. That is kale custard parts. Yes. Definitely down for that, dude. Fresh, that's amazing. <laughs> but spicy. Kale, did I meet Fresh when we went to Pax that one year? No, that was Fonzie. Oh mm. I met a lot of people. This is good. The the curales. Uh, mm. Um, this margarita is amazing. My compliments to the bartenders. Yes. Hey. So while Kale is um, chopping up, do you want to move? Which button do I hit to flip the camera? I'm going to show everyone how to peel corn. Okay, so we want. Um, I know how to do this. Boom. So now I'm going to peel some corn. And because we're going to make elotes, I'm going to keep the base on it. So I'm going to peel it from the top. And when I was at the grocery store checking for them, I peel them and make sure that the corn is actually still at the top and it's not dried out. When you go to the, the store and you see that the top of it has like some dried up kernels, avoid it. This season is kind of hard to do. Oh, I broke that one off. We're not going to have a stick on that one. It's kind of hard to do. Break. Mate. <laughs> so I'm just giving it a nice little haircut. I'm setting up to make the salsa here. Oh, that one just juiced out. <laughs> it went. RV Village, oh my god. You guys have to get one now. Yeah. 
Oh. We will. We made a house. Mm. I'm excited for that. Mm. Once we get a house, I was like telling some, one of my friends, I was like, oh my God, I'm like, when Taylor and I get a house, the amount of space that we'll have in our kitchen, garage, we can get a Tesla finally. Oh, yeah. He drove my car in the snow today and he's like, your car sucks. I was like, I agree. <laughs> I'm never getting an Asian car again. Sorry. So I'm going to put a little olive oil in here. It's a little baby corn. Little baby corn. It's little baby corn. Little baby corn. It's a Laura sized corn. Oh, that could be your corn. <laughs> little olive oil. You spill some olive oil too, just for fun. What kind because of oil do you use in the fryer? Um, this corn is oil. corn oil. But you can use. And uh, this is actually reused corn oil from when we did the. Sticky ribs. The sticky ribs. Well, it was good for like three months. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you like. Depending on what it, you. And yeah. like you, you strain out the, the, the crap. Oh, well, don't use fish. Yeah, then it'll get stinky. So, just kind of taking a look here at this oil. Might do a little more but, oil. But like when you pour it out and like you see like the like the bottom of it has like some sediment, it makes it like easier to keep it clean. Oh, these are little guys. That's a, that's a lower corn. You just use so usually filters. we will want to like char these on a grill because we like those like char marks. But sadly, we don't have a camera um, at the grill and we didn't want to like run back and forth. So we're just going to boil them. So my trick too is again, have a nice boiling hot pot of water, put some salt on it, but also um, get it going right away. Cause you never want to boil corn for too long. Cause then it becomes mushy. All right, here goes in the salsa ingredients. Oh, get that close. You got it? Yeah. I'm going to kind of just break up the onions a little bit, just so like gets nice char, like on all the different sides of the onion. Oh, wait. Hey, there goes one. Oh no. I realized my beverage is empty. And do you put the the um, jalapeno in the the ceviche already, right? Negative. Oh, yeah, we should do that. Okay, I can do that right now. But uh, first, I'm going to make myself another curio. So Good I'm going to do an ounce of chambord. And, and I'm going to use this mega spoon. Because you need a mega spoon. Oh, that smells so good. I'm gonna do some bubbles. Pour it in slowly. This is roughly like four ounces. Hi, bubbles. And then, right? I want it to like overflow. Blah. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna put a raspberry in it. That was my butt. That is your butt. Wait, I, fr I realized. Wait, did Fresh say he got rid of his RV? We, uh. Oh, you have the camper still. Okay, good. What was the word? Juggle? Juggle? Oh, yeah. Juggle. Juggle. And I'm going to actually put a little garlic in here. This marker is so good, I can't feel my tongue. <laughs> I'm glad. That's because there's Here's shellfish it. in it. <laughs> oh, don't I'm just say kidding. that. <laughs> How do, okay. you say, how do you say this is good in Spanish? Um, I, or, this is amazing. I don't know how to say amazing, but muy bueno is very good. Muy bueno. So I'm gonna cut this jalapeno and get it ready for the ceviche. I'm gonna use the other half of the serrano. Whoa, what's going on there? The Matt. GoPro? That's just, the, that's just the news car logo, all right? Uh -oh. What? That's just like the news car logo, right? That's cool. The GoPro went off. So... What's a news car oh, logo? Oh, no, back on. Hey! Ah! Okay, so let's Leave talk, it. Leave let, it. Let's talk about campers again. I will never forget wow. my first time meeting Kale, Brian, and Laura. And Brian and Laura came with their camper, and Brian kept coming out with ice cream because they had a freezer. And it was like yeah. so freaking hot. That's that's the greatest thing. <laughs> that's the greatest flex. The fact that you can have ice yep. cream while you camp. Yep. That was awesome. I now was I'm like gonna let super these, excited. I'm going to let these do their thing for a while and hopefully get a nice little char on them. And it's a much shorter walk to the restroom. Oh, 100%. Especially after how much we drank. We're it's having an RV get together, RV cooking yeah, show. Yeah, we can Dude, have a we can yes. have, we can RV have, cooking show. Because we can have cocktail hour one, 
I'm so down. Oh, it'd be amazing. Yeah. It'd be appetizers. We just have to figure out the internet situation. But that's, I mean, the cell phones. We can yeah. get like a, we can get a box or something. Like, live stream. We can get creative. Yeah. I think we have unlimited data now. We do, yeah. Um, so. Well, we can just do it after our kitchen. Kale, do you want me to put this in the, the ceviche? Yeah. Well, shouldn't we do this after? So, because we're going to drain that juice out anyways. No, we're not. We should. Really? Well, you can. I would. Really? It's yeah. not that much in there. I would drain it. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's fine. I just wanted to kind of get like the jalapeno flavor in it too. Oh, it'll definitely be in there. Okay, so while um, Kale's doing that, I'm going to start doing the... These are squirrely little, bu little buggers. Mise en place for the ceviche. So has anyone ever had mahi mahi ceviche or like a snapper ceviche? Because it's very common for people to see like a shrimp ceviche. I want to do kayak camping and hammock camping, dude, so bad. Oh my god, that would be I, fun. I really wish. And I really want to go backpacking. Yeah. What are you saying, Brian? I wish there was some way to get smell of vision smell of vision Oh, I know. <laughs> that reminds me of Rachel Ray when she first started doing her cooking clothes. Or cooking clothes. Cooking shows. Whoop. Cooking clothes. What's this one? Oh, yeah, we can have them watching. Hey. It, it smells so good in here. It does, right? I wish everybody could smell this. Well, Carly, you don't sign up, friends. Carly, you don't now I'm going to put in the chipotle. Let those roast in there for a little bit. What were those? These are chipotles. Oh my god, that smells so good. So when I'm cutting onions, guys, I like to keep the end of it on so I'm not sliding around. And I sliced, I did three layers on the side, and then I went ahead and I cut it like, like this way um, to give you a nice little mince. So when I chop, you see, I have minced onions. I think we should like figure out some sort of giveaway or something for when we hit 100 subscribers. Ooh, that's a good idea. What do you guys think? 100, 100 subscriber giveaway? Yeah, what will the giveaway be? I don't know, we gotta figure that out. Dinner? Bourbon? Studio audience ticket? Dinner, studio audience. There's people that are kind of far away too though, so we gotta figure out something that we can send them. But I'm thinking 100 subscriber giveaway. A big wooden spoon. Big for wooden spanking. spoon, yeah. <laughs> or we could do like a for spanking. Like a, co love. like a cocktail kit or one of, one of your like a set of fancy aprons. Like fancy you guys aprons. Have. Some sort of kit, cooking kit. I think that would be fun. That would so be that a lot of fun. So that means you have to copy the link and send it out to as many people as possible, preferably tonight. <laughs> right now. Do it now. And you will get Ooh, this people onion. to subscribe. I'm making it's making me cry. It's free. <laughs> they have to hit a button. Okay. Let's see. I, I think Brian's sister Amy is watching. Hey! Nice. Thanks. Honestly, guys, you guys roll for watching and being excited and following us through with this because if not, it would just be Kale and I and Barley cooking at home. Yep. All right. Time to cut up a mango. So. Yes, cooking kit. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Cooking kit would be fun. Let's do it. All right. So this salsa is ready to be. My eyes. Blended. Oh, God. You, you need some onion goggles. I do. It's like right in this one, too. All right. So <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, God. It's like that's making me cry, too. <laughs> oh, no. Can you move this camera? Oh, uh, OK. Wait, I'll help you. Sorry. I suck right now. <laughs> no, you're good. OK. Oh, my God. I can't fucking see. I'm swearing. <laughs> All right. All right. You're going to do that? I'll hold it. And then I you it. scoop it. You got, got it? it? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Cool, great. I'm moving. This is going to go well. Woo! This is going to be splashy, splooshy everywhere. I'm just going to kind of Careful. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Oh, wait. Yo, you need salt and garlic, right? I did garlic already. Did you do salt? I need uh, cilantro, cilantro and lime. Okay, cilantro. That's, that's salt. Definitely salt. <laughs> Did you just say cilantro and give me the salt? Yeah. Whoopsie daisy. All right, I'm going to cut up some cilantro for you. And like I, as you guys probably heard before, love cilantro. He's so a cilantro we're going to put all of the cilantro in there. One whole head of cilantro. Let's 
is going to go back Look over here. all that cilantro. It's like a whole cilantro plant. I know. I want to grow cilantro. We will. We are. We're going to do it. Yes to the giveaway. Let me know real quick. Unsubscribe so I can be the 100th. It's not going to be a 100th subscriber will be the get the win. We'll do like a randomizer so everyone, all the subscribers can get in. Or I'll send out a link and you can enter. So, so there we go. And then we're going to do salt. Salt. Is that, is that enough cilantro for you, Kale? Yeah. Need, need a little more? Yeah. There you go. Usually we do it about like one or two limes. So about like that. We pre-juiced everything because it's such a pain in the ass yeah. when you're like getting everything going. Pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. Oops. You put All right, here we go. This is such a great salsa all. Done. And then you all can enjoy. Wait. Oh, that smells good. Bless you. Bless you. Sorry. Jazz. Yes. <laughs> <Just, laughs> Those sneeze. onions. Yeah, it's like. Woo. Whoa. Oh, she's. Yes, I ordered you some onion goggles. Thank you. Done. <laughs> Seriously, my eyeballs are burning. They're burning. All right. All right, here's the salsa. Yeah. That's Wait, a lot we of salsa. Do I have to eat got, the whole thing? You have to eat the whole thing. The whole Get in there. I'm going to try it. it what like do you think, Hale? It's good. That camera's not on, though. Oh, no. No, it is. What do you think? Oh, my God, it's amazing. All right, so we're going to get nice and close mm. to I've that. I've never had warm salsa before. It's That's so really good. good. It's amazing. Mmm. It's spicy. Ah, I'm so excited. Woo! <laughs> All okay. Right. Wait, I need to try Ooh. salsa. That's spicy. Is it spicy? It's got some kick. Smoky spice salsa. Ooh. Is it smoky, isn't it? Yeah, it de definitely has like a little bit of a smoky. Mmm. That's the chipotle. And like the charring of all the stuff. Holy crap, no. That's so good. Can that we just is... eat this for dinner? No. Nope. Mmm. Like, like, put everything oh else away. Let's just eat this. I want some tacos. That's really so good. So now we're going to fry the plantain chips. Mm -mm. We're not? Yeah, we are. Oh. <laughs> wait, juggle. I need to juggle. Juggle. Oh, wait, we need to make you guys another drink. Oh, yeah, we do need more drinks. Well, Brian's been drinking my margarita. Right. Brian, you really? like you did like a fake sip. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep you without, man. Okay. So. I can get a beer. I can feel my tongue. So you yeah, I'll get you a beer. Do you want a beer or margarita? I margarita. Okay, margarita. <laughs> yeah, margarita, come on. All right, so do you want Blanco or Repo? Repo. Repo? Cool. Laura, you like the Repo one I see? Oh, that is very good. Okay, cool. So we're gonna do three ounces of tequila, considering we're making it for two. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh wait, this is an ounce and a half, right? Or is this two ounces? That's two. Okay, so we'll see. It's one and two. If you win the option to be in the live studio audience, you also get barley heavy breathing on your leg. <laughs> yeah. As a bonus. This sauce, this sauce is amazing. Isn't it so good? I love his Chipotle one. That we're is very do, delicious. We're gonna do two ounces of grandma. Do you guys want strawberry or any fruit in it or no? Straight up. Straight? Okay, cool. And then may I get um, the simple? We're gonna do two ounces of simple. And then an ounce and a half, so three ounces of lime. Okay. And where's the lime juice? Behind me? I can't get around it. The salsa is. Oh, the Chipotle one is like so good. I told my sister in law that I shouted out her empanadas on your guys' YouTube channel. Nice. Yeah, we'll have to make them. Like, seriously, like. I'm so excited. We need some, we need some ice for Brian's cup. Okay. Brian, do you want salt in your room? Or yes. do you want to use a fresh glass? or? Oh, no, you can just refill it. Okay. Cool. I am not that fancy. Okay. <laughs> No, sometimes I like to use like the remnants of it because it like mm -hmm. you get like the, the rest of the crusty salt and stuff. Like yes. That. Okay, cool. So us Polacks are not that fancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's another important rule? I built the drink, didn't put the ice in it until the end, so you don't water it down. And then ooh, you shake it. But not over shake it. Because then, oh, really? you can shake it, it becomes water down. Do you want salt? No, you said no, right? 
He said yes. He said yes. Okay, we're doing it like this. We can turn this fan off now. I'm sweating over here. Unless we got fire going too. <laughs> Should we lower the heat? No. No, I'm sweating. This is also so good. I can eat <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the meat sweats, Brian has the salsa sweats. The salsa sweats. I love it. Fire's going still. Cool. You know what else we, we need to do? Some fire a stuff. pierogi night. <gasps> I've never made pierogies. I would love so, that. Brian's co-worker, Anya, has a family recipe. We need a little pierogi, like, um, er, press. A mushroom. pierogi? Er. A pierogi, er. Or just do it with your hands like a normal person. No, but to get the, the fun little, it's. You can get one with a Z in it for yeah. Zinni. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. All right, cheers, guys. We got drinks. All right, cheers again. Cheers again. Salud. 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 Wait, you didn't. I did. Didn't cheers I thought I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. It's also time. So, we're doing chip time, right? Chip time. All right. Let's see if we can get this camera situated so that. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. I'm doing it like this. No, 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 no. We're gonna do it like this. Oh, I see what you're saying. Got it. Okay. So, so we're not gonna have an oil mishap again. Because I filled it up this time. Well, <laughs> that's not why. Mm. So our oil's good to go. And we could probably, ah! <laughs> that hurts. You okay there, bud? It was hot. So I'm getting a big baking sheet. Do you want to? We could probably do like 4,000 at a time. So I'm going to do, um, I got a big baking sheet all. See? And I lined it with uh, paper towels. So when you get that nice oily chip on top. I need chips and salsa. Well, it, um, it dries up that oil. So we got her nice and hot. We're doing about 375 in the oil temp. And the, the trick of it is just to kind of kiss the the item or whatever you're frying in the oil and you can kind of see a bubble. Yeah, you can see that on camera. Cool. And now we're gonna throw them all in. No, you don't wanna overcrowd it. Why don't you overcrowd it? You wanna throw them all in. No. The more the better. The more the not better. <laughs> the more the not better. So you're not gonna overcrowd it. Wait, how much you put in there? I did little ones, I did like six of them. So you're not gonna overcrowd it because you want it to not overcook. Or no, um, it slows down the cooking process. Oh, we should grab the salt. Oh yeah. So you're looking about like, um, what, like a minute to fry? Yeah, they're really quick. These are a little bit thicker than we normally do. And I think actually, we have to do this. Someone, I will not name names, doesn't like to use a lot of paper towel. I'm That's, resourceful. It's I'm fine. resourceful. It's fine. I didn't name any names. Eco-friendly. I really am. Save the trees. I know, and Kayla's like uses like 10 fucking paper towels for one thing. <laughs> She's working on her swearing, it's fine. I, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, <laughs> pardon my French. French. Chance, you get to see what I see. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. There we go. I try to say other things like, I don't know, like cheese and potatoes, but it just doesn't work. Okay, so one thing too, what I've been doing, I don't know if I've been kind of like swishing around the chips in the oil. You have a timer on the oven going? So, yeah, for the potatoes. Oh yeah, we're making potatoes. So they don't um, clump up together. But I think these are looking, these are looking good. So you can kind of see when they kind of curl up and get a little darker gold color. The color I think we could do more than that The at color once. of the oil. And you can see a little brown lining on it. Oh yeah, these are perfect. All right, let's try these. And love, you wanna grab the tray for me, please? Yeah, let me just get this a little closer. You might be able to see a little better here. Okay. Yeah, these look good. Yummy. You guys, I'm getting the tray. Yummy, 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 yummy. I'm getting... getting... So the cool thing is when you take them out, lay them flat, and you don't have to salt both sides. You could just salt one. Um, because our ceviche again too is going to be kind of salty. We saw all three sides. Um, <laughs> and then you just do 
The reason why you do them when they're fresh out of the fryer, because then it's the oil sticks. Now it's my turn to fry some. Uh oh. Hang tight, all. Danger, turn. danger. High voltage. You ready for this? Ready? I don't know. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. That's a lot. That's a lot. One more, one more, one more. Oh shit. Yeah! Okay. Hey, 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 hey. I'm helping you. This was my round. <laughs> you see how high the oil is? Yeah, but it's fine. <laughs> you see why I put a towel underneath here, guys? Let's uh, let's do this. Does Kale think the fill line is a suggestion? It's a suggestion. So our friends can be on camera while they watch us. They're eating. They're having lots of delicious food. We're getting the salsa sweats, but Barley, it's so good. Barley got his new toy. What is that? It's a possum. With no nose anymore. All right, yeah. duck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh God, that was scary. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> scary. <laughs> <laughs> I would say like half, the, half the fuzz is out of there. Yeah, but he has no nose. <laughs> We're gonna call him Ralph. What do you got there? Hardest chip. I don't know. Just one? Oh, perfect. Maybe a little longer? Oh, a little bit longer. Yeah. Barley's interested in playing. Let's games. give our friends a chip. Oh, it smells so good. You guys can try it with the salsa. Ooh. I think we're gonna fry them a little bit longer, but they're good. You can break it, Brian. You don't have to have the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit longer. A little bit longer. They look a little chewy. I should probably try one with the salsa, too. Well, I'm, I mean, if you guys are all going to do it, I'm going to do it. Oh, that's really good. That salsa is so good. Ah! I'm just going to I really it. want, like, some breakfast now, like mm. eggs. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Awesome. Mm. Eggs and beans and tortilla. Mm. Mm. I'm going to need a margarita soon. I'll make you one. How kind of you. I know Kiel doesn't like um, salt, so I will do no salt. I love salted rims. Or like sugar rims. Mm. He really don't like salt. He doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. Next thing you know, he's going to say, I want a blended mango margarita. Like his pina coladas. Mm -hmm. I like pina coladas. It's way different than a, a blended mango margarita. Mm. Pina colada is amazing. I mean, a blended mango margarita sounds really good, though. It does. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, these these are a little thicker. So, yeah, we usually do them a little bit thinner, but that's fine. Fry them up. Take your time. The ceviche is cooking anyways. That, that lime juice is holding strong. It is. How many limes was that? Uh, 21. 21. Jeez. Yeah, we bought a lot of limes. We go through so much citrus, though, in this so house. So much. It's, like, crazy. Like, seriously, like, we buy bags of them because we just can fly through them. Um, I need some eyes. Oh, so, after your drink, oh, shake them up. No, put no, it No, I've, I've, I've been, Oh, you've been doing I've it? Been. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't mean to be rude. We've done this before, remember? Um, yeah, but I had to supervise you. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to supervise me. <laughs> somebody left the, I would say somebody left the oven open. <laughs> That's an oven? It's very cold. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Kale, do you want me to put a strawberry in here or a jalapeno? Or jalapeno. cilantro? Ha you want me to put some jalapeno? Yeah. Oh, put some of this nice jalapeno in there. So we went to this place called Tavo's. And it was so good. It's this cute little restaurant in These are Milwaukee, good. right? Downtown it's, Milwaukee? It's right on the edge of Milwaukee and Wauwatosa. It is so good. And um, they had these spicy margaritas. Holy crap. I almost died. It was so spicy, but so good. Um, but Kale had to drink the rest of the margarita for me. I couldn't do it. That cooktop is hot. Oh, here I'm, we go. We're gonna. I'm putting a strawberry fry. in there for you too. Oh. Do you not want it? Eh, it's fine. Okay, no, I won't do it. I'll do it in mine. Okay. Those chips look awesome. Yeah, they're a little crispier. Cool. We can put them off in the oven and bake them off. So we always have an oven going too. So it's nice that we have the potatoes baking, but then we can put the. Uh, 
the chips in there so they stay warm. My phone, which is running that camera, is going to be so oily smelling, I'm going to have to clean it. <laughs> All right. Here, it's spicy one. Yes. Juggle. 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 Hey. I'm the guy. I need to get on the margarita wagon. Or it's on a Saturday night. What's not? Shit. I know. I have to adult tomorrow. Damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. Night shift. I know, right? I'm like, oh, 5 a.m. I'm not ready for you. <laughs> Some, you could just put barley in your spot on, on any <laughs> Zoom chat you have. Right? Barley, can you handle it? He could totally handle it. Yeah. He's good. He's got it. He's he's a professional. All right, so while Kale's um, going ahead and doing that with the chips, I'm going to go ahead and start peeling a mango. Mango salsa we are having, right? No, I thought we were putting the mango in the... Ceviche, no? Yeah, we're making mango salsa for the ceviche on top of it. Or are we not? No, we're not. Yeah, I remember what we were doing. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Hey, we can watch this happening. So I'm peeling the mango. And mangoes are kind of like really hard sometimes to cut and just like figure out because inside there's a big shell. I don't know, shell a seed. But they're one of my favorite fruits and super underrated. So when I was a little girl and I lived in Chicago, we used to get these mangoes on a stick. Somebody would put like a, a wooden stick in it and they'd douse it in like chile and lime. And it was just the best thing. And it was so good, especially on like a hot summer day. Oh yeah, these, these plantain chips are way better. So the, the kicker is, you peel it, and you cut the end off, right? So now you have a base. And then you start slicing it. So now you can make thin slices to dice it up. I'm you can kind of feel like you're getting closer to the shell. Don't cut anymore, because then you start peeling that, um, that seed line, and it's not very good. So keep a close eye, watch your mittens. You don't wear mittens. And then you do the sides. And this is where you might have to like flick the knife a little bit because then you get the, the curving part of the, the seed. Boop, boop. All right. And now this is when you can switch your knives up. What's a manganata? Ooh, a manganata. And I'm going to start pairing it. There we go. All right. So, Kale, do you like mangoes? Yes. Brian, Laura, do you like, you guys like mangoes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Me too. It's such a like delicious fruit, so sweet. So Jazz is, Jazz is chopping. I'm gonna take some more chips out. These are ready to go. And we'll salt them. And we'll put some new ones in. Probably just a couple more rounds of chips. Ooh, that's good. Is it? The spicy. Oh my awesome. god. Awesome. We got more plantain chips going in. Jazz is working on the um, mango salsa for the ceviche. ceviche. So I'm just going to put everything in a bowl. And here's barley. So I'm like, honestly. A mango drink. I'm down. Ooh, let's, what if I made a mango margarita or something? I'm so down. All right, that'll be my next one. I'm going to do a mango strawberry margarita. All right, hang tight, all. Once I chop all this stuff up, it is on. It is on. Ooh, we can make like a puree of some sort. Oh. You know what we have to do, Kale? We haven't done? What? A dessert on the show. Did we not? We haven't We haven't done macerated berries. We haven't done creme brulee. Um, wow. No desserts. 
I know, all savory food. I mean, that's okay. How are our friends doing? We are doing great. These margaritas are amazing. That's good. Where's I mine? Be, I want to be full of chips and salsa. <laughs> yeah, you better, you better. Well, you better save your appetite. Like, you know, like, this away. Where's my okay. margarita? Right oh, here. Right here. We'll it's move so it. It's so good. We can move it. I'll eat it. Mm. I think that's what happened to me last time. I just ate a jalapeno. You fine. It's not bad, actually. Oh my god. So we still have this water boiling. We're gonna make it for the corn eventually. And one thing that I've learned about corn is I always thought you had to like boil it for a long time. And my colleague Jeff, is, Jeff was like, no, you just have to boil it for like two minutes. And he's totally right, it's amazing. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. just like two minutes. We and need it's to, good to go. We need to get a pan ready for the chorizo. Oh, that's right, chorizo. You guys, I am not... You know what, We're, we can cook the chorizo in the salsa pan. Yeah. In this salsa? Yeah. <laughs> oh. The salsa pan. Okay, was that in the gospel according to Jeffus? It was in the gospel according to Jeffus. <laughs> this is amazing. Did you put oh, in the margarita? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really good. You should try it. Alright, Jazz is still chopping up, chopping away. It's, the a mango. it's a tedious process. So you guys, honestly, you don't have to put mango in it, but it just tastes like more of like a fresh Caribbean island, like ceviche. It's just fun. Which camera do I want? I'm gonna camera. get this. I need a, I need a director. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Jay Baumgartner, if you're watching. Yeah, we need a director. Cause then they can just follow the action. Check one, check two, check three, check four. <gasps> Juggle. What? Juggle. Juggling. Brian. Juggle. Juggle. I need a chip break. Mmm. That's so good. Let's see. I need a chip break too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like so, so smoky. smoky. Mm. It is oh. such a great flavor. Kale, I'm telling you, man, you are officially part Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I want to bottle that up. Who would have known? My little Polish German boy would be called a Mexican. Congratulations, Congratulations Polak. <laughs> we did it. You official. Not by association, just by, by how you find your salsa skills. By your salsa skills. <laughs> <laughs> salsa skills. It's so good. No, honestly, like, I don't make salsa, um, which is crazy con considering, but Kale does all the salsa work. I love salsa. I could seriously eat salsa every day. Oh my god, we should tell them about the mahi tacos we made the other day with our mango salsa. Oh, uh, that was all you. Yeah. No, you helped me. I mean, you grilled, you, you grilled the fish, right? We used, um, for our, we did mahi tacos and we used a seasoning from the Spice House. Oh my god, the Spice House is amazing. Called Ancho Oaxacan Ancho Coffee Rub. It was seriously, the stuff is so good and on it, a lot of different things. And the dinner was done in what, like 20 minutes? Yeah, it was quick. So we spiced up our fish, and then um, while right, Kale was, was, was like cooking the, the fish and everything, I went ahead and uh, made the salsa. Oh my God. Everyone, it was so good. Barley was drooling so bad. He always is drooling so bad. He's drooling about everything. And speak of the devil. You guys feed him? <laughs> we do! <laughs> we feed him a lot! He told me you didn't feed him at all. <gasps> it's oh, actually God. time for him to eat right now. Uh oh. But that's not gonna happen. The, um, that butcher's rub from the Spice House is very, very good on chicken thighs. Ooh, really? Yeah. I'm so glad. Alright, this is the last round of plantain chips. Jazz is nearly finishing chop. Are you? I'm almost done with mangoes. Oh. This She's almost done with mangoes. A, it's just a tedious process, all. Sorry. You gotta peel them. You gotta, you gotta cut the meat out. And then. You guys need one of those little mango thingies. The peeler thingies. They peel sell a mango peeler? Peel, we have one. 
Do you really? Yeah. Wait, I feel like he's used it at our house. No, he's I the have only not. one who has ever used it. No, he has not. I have never seen it. I need this. Kale, Kale Stewart, you, I promise you, you're I don't the only remember one who has ever used it. it is she used the first middle name. Yep. I only have one middle name. First and the middle name. You're in trouble. Oh. <laughs> you in trouble, boy. What are we doing? Teresa, where is it? I would like it to be known that 90% of what we registered for for our wedding was because Kale is the only one in our house who actually cooks. <laughs> we literally opened gifts at our gift company and said, hey, Kale, look what you got. <laughs> Okay. And now you got two of them. Yep. <laughs> we, got this, we got this trees on now. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. You gotta hit it and see if it's okay. Stop spanking the meat. I'm you gonna cook this. You the meat in Costco? All the time. Yeah. The, Everywhere we go. The brisket's the best. Everywhere. He's, He's just, just like spank, 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 and I'm just walking away. And he's like, hey, where are you going? You guys should upgrade to an executive membership. Do we want one or two? Just one, please. And I'm just like, Kale. I knew she was going to say just one. What? Just one chorizo. Just one sausage? Okay, we can use two. <laughs> we, can, we can use two. Just no, we can Should use we two. Fry? No. <laughs> That's just dumb. <laughs> I just want to say something. I remember there's one time I made chorizo, and we had no idea what we were doing. We wanted to grill it. Like, oh, yeah, we grill it. We grill it like a sausage. So we took it like this, and we just. Put it on the grill. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? Because I had no idea. Why are you palming the chorizo? That looks a little aggressive. Baby. So the potatoes are done. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, those are beautiful. May I grab the... Um... We're going to chorizo. So, well, kale is in chorizo. It's pretty... Well, it makes sense. You know, it's very... Very simple. You just put... Wait, what? The sausage in a pan, and you cook it. Can we see that? No. No? I'm going to smush the potatoes, though. Oh, good idea. So, um, I'm going to take this out. Watch it. Watch this, you guys. Hot, hot, hot. Jeff just wants to know what brand is the chorizo. Supremo. Supremo. So, you, you never want to get a shitty chorizo. There she goes. Pie so, there's, there's another trick you could do. Um, we're going to use the second one. I want to show you them how to do it. Okay. So another way you can. I like do to do it because it's like yeah. You go ahead. You grab the <laughs> you grab the sausage, and um, with the pair. Let me see. With the paring knife, you scorch it with the tip, and you run it down. You need an audience mic. There is an audience mic. Yeah, there is. And then Can you not hear them? Sometimes, sometimes they turn it off. You peel it. Oh yeah, they turn it off. Brian is like in control of it, so he turns it off sometimes. When I'm and you chips. drop it down. We don't want to chop chips into the microphone. You can't hear Brian and Laura enough. You need me to turn them up? Uh, you don't need to hear me anymore. <laughs> Alright, talk now. No, no, no. It's meh, good. meh, 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 meh. Well, she, now she was way into the microphone. You, you don't need to hear me any louder than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Laura can't so, feel her tongue, so... It's good. I Salute. Juggle. Okay, are these chips done? Oh, uh, juggle. Uh, let me see. Juggle. Wait, I don't have a drink. Shit, I didn't even make one. Swearing. Oh, shoot. Boo-boos. Yeah, the chips are done. So I'm going to mm. put them onto there. Sip. And we're still gonna we're still going to fry the potatoes. All right, so the next thing you do, I need to, can you flip the camera? Mm -hmm. Potatoes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna smush them. Be careful, these are gonna be hot. And you're just gonna smush them just enough where they kind of crack open. And, oh. oh no. You should do a late night cooking you show. Oh my god, do you like late night snacks? That'll be so good. Walking hours, tacos? After hours, so it can be naughty. And like... Is this on? Mess stuff up. You yeah. guys, we did our wedding cake, uh, cupcake tasting the other day. It was yeah. so good. It was seriously so good. Is that the chips crunching the is the best audio. It had a weird echo. That's, yeah, probably because... I don't know. We'll figure that out. This was a last minute audio situation today. Right. Jeffis, can you hear me? I'm gonna do 
What's oh, this is garlic spoon? I'm eating chips. Oh, I'm gonna do um the mango, mango strawberry margarita. Should I do that? Yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna do Look at that. a teaspoon of mango. One full strawberry. How about the 100th subscriber if they're local gets to come spoon barley for one hour? Oh my god, yeah. barley would love that. <laughs> All right, so Jazz is making another drink. I'm working on the chorizo right here. I need a, a glass. So you just kind of smush it around. It's just like browning any other like ground meat. We don't have any. Water. We're gonna use this one because the fourth one broke. Except chorizo is real oily. And we just use the same those pan ones, that's as the salsa. That's a lot more robust than these ones are. Though. Yeah. These are like super thin. I got this at, uh, what is it, Crate of Bear? A while ago. Oh, what's that Trezo one place? Trezo is cooking. What's that one place that just broke down, or shut down? Um, Boston Fur? They had one in Greendale. Um, Pure One? Pure One. I got these at Pure One. Nelly says, hi, Brian and Laura. Hi, hi Nelly. Nelly, I miss you. Aww. Nelly and I was a great time. It's such a great time at Andy's wedding, and we're gonna have a great time at your guys' wedding. Yes, guys. Oh my god. Honestly, I'm super excited. Kayla and I did a, a call with the best uh, oysters ever with the DJ. That's the um, wrong show. That was the show. Oh, you mean yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Uh, oysters were good. We did a we did a call with the DJ and like. The amount of shit that Kale wants to add to the wedding. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like a nightclub. <laughs> I just realized Jazz does have a potty mouth. Like I have a potty mouth too. But for whatever reason, when the cameras go on, it's off. You're professional. I just I don't I don't know why. It just it happens, it's just off. Your fiance is naughty. <laughs> it's funny though. So we have Jazz making a drink. We've got the chorizo <laughs> cooking. Brian and Laura are eating and drinking. Trezo is cooking it. right here. If anyone ever wants to go to Margarita, come to Kale and Jazz's place. Hey. And if you work in healthcare, come to Kale and Jazz's place. <laughs> right? The oil is still hot. I'm going to start doing these potatoes. Oh, may I help you with it? I need to, make, I need to finish my Margarita, that's all. Okay, I'm just going to put a couple in. Okay. It's hot. You guys, it's hot. I, that's why I want to help you. I help you. Help. So oh these were smashed, and then they're going to be flash fried. Yes. Oh, man. And we're not going to do overcrowd these like I normally want to overcrowd them. No, they're a little soft, so like it's kind of a delicate process. So we'll just layer the bottom. The chorizo smells amazing, by the way. Chorizo's gone. Everything smells these amazing. These are the uh, I'm so ready. I'm so, potatoes. I'm so and we're gonna fry these. Uh, deep fryer smells combined with deep fryer smells combined with chorizo cooking. Yeah. Combined with margarita so and smoky salsa. Those barley. potatoes are going. And then, oh my god! It's okay. I love the potty mouth. Uh, Is that for it. me, Nelly? <laughs> Cheers, guys. Juggle. If you want high papas in me, Juggle. that means no. What are you guys talking about? Brian needs another margarita. Dang. Oh. I need another margarita. I need to drink pictures of Kale. Oh my god, pictures of Rita's. Rory, I'd like to say Jen Dobry because I'm learning Polish at work. So, mm. so far, I know one word and it's right. hello. Oh, and we need something to put the potatoes in. Yes. Oh, shoot. We'll do this. Kale and I usually split a whole pitcher. Oh, these are great. Okay, cool. Wow. Look at those. So, you guys see how they get a little crunchy and crispy on the outside? That's what we're looking for for these potatoes. Correct. See that? So it's still the same potato that we have, but like just the edges get a little crispy. I might even crisp them up just a little bit more too. You want to? I think it's good. I mean, okay, that's can. fine. We'll do the next round. Maybe we'll see how they look just a little bit more crispy. The chorizo is done. I'm gonna turn the chorizo off. Yes. Um, you wanna? I'm gonna eat this piece of potato because it was there. You guys can't see the. Potatoes going in, so we'll show you those. Margaritas are so good. Oop, Barley gets a potato. Barley got a potato. I'm sure he does not mind. Well, he said you guys never feed him, so. No, I mean, we were eating shrimp cocktail yesterday. Oh, he was loving it. Barley, he was loving it. Okay, so I will make you guys margarita. Ooh. Barley. 
Potatoes are going. Do you want Jasmine. a jalapeno? They told yeah, me they sure. feed you. Yeah. They told me they feed you. And then he says you never feed him. Oh, He's just not getting beef jerky from Grandpa anymore. So. Oh. <laughs> that was that was the kicker. Barley would like get so many snacks from Grandpa. He loved it. Is Barley gonna wear a bow tie for your wedding? Yes. We gotta do something cool. He's gonna have some sort of awesome. All right, we're all out of Grandma Yale. Barley, do you wanna wear a bow tie? Yeah. All right. So these, I'm just gonna crisp up a little bit more, just because, science. Science? Yeah. Hey, you want a piece I'm gonna try some of these potatoes. We should, um... You need to figure out how the home audience can talk to you rather than just chat. Oh, you mean like call in? Like, what's up? Yeah, we, we could do a call in. Oh my god, that would be fun. Jeff says we need to be able to heckle during yeah. the show. Aww. You guys, I'm figuring out my cameras here. We could do like a, we could do like the TV with like a zoom on it. They could call in too. Oh, that's a good idea. That would be fun. We, I think we. All right, see, those are just a little bit crispier. That's what kind of what I, I was thinking. I think we would need a third man for that kind of approach. Just a little bit tough. crispier. All right. Oops. We need to get some tally lights too. So we know what cameras are hot? Yeah. Alright. We'll do these. We'll do these. These smashed potatoes look amazing. You want a little more ice? More uh, toasted jalapeno? Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, heckling would be fun. What? I'm down for heckling. Are you ready for another one? Yeah. Oh no. Hey, 14 days in a row. Yeah, Brian. 14 days in a row. <laughs> Cheers, okay. Laura. I save lives for a living, okay? 14 we, days I in a I row. Make, I think I can make another one. Let's do this one. Let's just do this. Let's do this. Okay, let's see how much I have. Oh my God, that's Mine so good. Mine is the jalapeno because healthcare has given me a uh, stomach ulcer. Yes. yes. You, you know, know what? I'm, I'm with you. I can't do the jalapeno anymore. All right. We are out, unfortunately, all of Grammonier, so we will have Ah, oh, boo! Yes, we're doing to Yes, Get welcome to your thirties. Welcome to heartburn. Oh, no, my heartburn has been so bad since, uh, literally, like, once I turned, like, 24, just because of what I grew up eating, it was, like, so bad. I feel like mine wasn't bad until I turned 30, and suddenly, like, I eat anything with any, I mean, granted, I grew up Polish, so we don't eat anything with any sort of spice or flavor in it. All right, but so once I hit 30, it was like, pfft, done. Game over. Do you Potatoes. want mango or strawberry? Uh, I'm going. Mango. Cool. That's good. You see that? Nice little crisp on the edge of the potatoes. Oh, yeah, those look good. So we're just going to dump those, and we're going to plate these now. You could put them in the oven to keep them hot, love. There's... there's it's okay with the cloth in there? Yeah, just turn off the oven. Okay. Barley said he doesn't get heartburn. He gets heartburn. Okay, he that's just, off. He just gets poopy butt. We're done with the fryer, right? <laughs> yeah, done with the fryer. Fire off. And then we should take the fish out of the fridge and drink. Fish out of the fridge. Wait, there's, there's these more potatoes. What? These, oh, these. shoot. Yeah. You guys, we're not done with the fryer. Laura, I'm just gonna pop it in there because there's some ice. Yeah. Yeah. And then see this this like scoopy little part right here? This part is for me. <laughs> Can we say juggle? Juggle! We all got margaritas. Juggle! Cheers, Salud! Salud. Cheers! Ah! I feel like this is like the 12th juggle. It's better hey, juggling maybe. when I've got well, people are here. I have to practice oh my, my Spanish. Mm. Salud. Salud. Mm. Jeff says, Laura, thanks for what you do, really. Aww. Aww. Shout out. Jeff is, thank you very much. You need also, let's go camping again. again. What? No, right? What did Deanna no. make last time we went camping? Was it chili? It was that soup. Soup? 
Whatever Deanna Which made last the, time we went camping fiesta? was amazing, and we should all go camping again. No, that's for the corn. Oh, which one's for and the potatoes? And I'll try to actually be awake. If you want to yeah. And hopefully it won't snow. Well, so I told Kayla I was going to do winter camping. Don't do it. I'm scared. Do it. Poor choice. Do it. I'm scared. Do it. It's I a poor choice because all Kayla will do is go, I'm bored. No, that was not winter camping. I mean, I don't want to make him bored. That was <laughs> fall camping. That was fall camping, but it snowed. Um, we, we can all go winter camping. I just told him, I'm like, I'd rather camp um, in a yard and get prepared because, like, if we can, like, go inside. We just camp in our camper all together. I mean, we could do that, yeah. I'm I'm actually very fine with that. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So while we're wow. doing that, I'm going to go ahead and drain our fish out from the juices that it's been sitting in. So you want to do a really fine strainer, right, Kale? So hey, um, you get... A fine strainer. Barley! And you, you guys know what barley got? Barley got the chorizo wrapper. <laughs> no! <Naughty. Dude. laughs> he was like, yes, I did it. They didn't see Dude, me. We should put like a GoPro on Barley's heads. <laughs> we can see what he's doing at all times. Okay, you want to try this? Yeah, is it good? Palas? No. Oh, yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Good. So you strained it out. And now we're going to put it in a new bowl. So actually, I'm going to use... You know, well, we're going to mix everything together first, right? Yeah, so we're going to do this one. Boom. I think we should put a little more lime in there. We are. Yeah. So we're going to grab all my knees and plaws that I chopped up. So we're going to grab some mango. Let's get you a camera. Yes. Grab some mango, put some mango in there. I'm going to put Actually, some we have we have a camera for that, guys. Red onion. And we're going to do the jalapenos. Great. So I did half a jalapeno, half a serrano, um, pretty much like almost half of a red onion, about three quarters of a mango. And now I'm going to add some lime juice, lemon juice, and some orange juice. So. And this one is kind of, I do an eyeball. So I'm going to do half a lemon. Cool. And then I'm going to do, I would say, one full lime. And then yes. I'm going to add an orange. So this one. And the reason why you use different citrus is because you have, like, some citrus is a little bit more, like, just like acid Now we're gonna start boiling the corn. But some of them are gonna be a little sweeter. Cool. So the corn will go in for literally two minutes because that's what Jeff has told me. Two minutes. Cool. Deep fryer? The corn will not go in the deep fryer. The corn will go into, I got this, water. Really hot. I'm going to mix this all up, and the one thing that I have not added yet so that will boil for a little bit. is tomato, avocado, garlic, and cilantro. We're going to dance so hard. Heck yeah! Well, Nellie and I, I don't know about the rest of you. <laughs> Oh yeah, she is a machine on the dance floor. I got a stress fracture at our friend's wedding because I danced so hard, so. Really? I love it. It healed, it's fine. <laughs> you party. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's gonna be awesome. It really, it really, really is. I'm so excited. Do you need salt for that? I do, but I'm gonna put all of the cold ingredients in first, cool. so. You want me to chill with salt? Um, sorry? Salt. Is there a reason behind putting it the putting the cold ingredients in first, or is it just like a habit type thing? Um. Well, because the acid, like salt, will start breaking down everything. Okay. So it starts breaking everything down. You don't want it to get like mushy. You want to still keep it like crisp and firm. Okay. For those of us who don't cook, did you put which the is salt me. In the no, that's a great question though. Yeah. Did you put the salt in the freezer. Why would you put the salt in the freezer? Uh -huh. Because Brian is German and Welsh and doesn't know how to cook. 
No salt and freezer, guys. So we've got sour cream too, which I'm gonna put into this little squeezy shiggity, which I should have done earlier. Squeezy shiggity. But I didn't. I thought you were gonna say I was gonna put it in the freezer. So what do you guys think? Should I just dump it in? Yeah. Maybe you should just sploosh it in. Sploosh right, it in. Which camera can we do that in? Camera one, camera two, camera, camera one, one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Okay, let's do this one. Ready? Splooch. You guys, look at this. Oh. Okay. So. This is great content. Oh, that looks great. Stop. That's, no. that's a lot in there. You have to feel it. All the way. Okay. Yeah, and then you lick the side, the rest. <laughs> so now I'm gonna add. A <laughs> and we just like this because it's easy to dress, like drizzle and dress on stuff. Because otherwise, we have to use a knife. I'm gonna use half a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic, and then from Costco. Is that from, right? It's, it's going like eight, eight thousand years to use all that garlic. I know. That's good because we use a lot. And I'm just going to use a little bit of cu cucumber. Excuse me. So I'm going to peel her because we don't like the skin. Unless it's an English cucumber. Those are good. We're still looking. The corn is still doing its thing, as you can see. It just started kind of boiling again. So I'm just going to leave it in there for another minute. Do a little dice of the cucumber. This is gonna be so freaking good. Yes, it will be. Does Rory have a family pierogi recipe? I don't think so. My dad likes cannibal sandwiches, though. Ugh. Oh, oh yeah. that's definitely a Polish thing. Yeah, which is yeah. The, if you don't know, it's the like Wisconsin steak tartare. It's just. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ground beef. Ground beef. It's not ground beef. Well, it's ground beef, but it's like ground steak. Ground steak. Onion. You slap it on a piece of rye bread, onion, salt, and pepper, yeah. and then you eat it, and then cannibal sandwich. Yeah. And then you make a face. Yeah. You're like, this is good. Yeah. I'm eating this. Rory, All unless right. you have a family pierogi recipe, they'd be willing to share. And then Kale and Jasmine will make it, and Brian and I will sample it. I'm scared. All right, all. So I put a little bit of olive oil just to kind of coat it. Um, I'm going to put some salt. Or Kayla, you want to put some salt on it while I grab our avocado? Yep. I'm going to turn off the water. What so oh. I, you grab an avocado, you cut it in half. That's perfect. I'm going to grab a big spoon. And our corn is done, and sometimes you do the corn on the cob, sometimes you do it off the cob. We're going to do it off the cob today. So we're going to cut it and not chop our fingers off. Don't do that. Barley is a really good pot over. He's what? A what? He's a very good paw giver. Oh yeah, no doubt. Suze, what is that? Make some... Oh, charnina! Oh, duck blood soup! No! Oh. Uh, okay, I mean, I, I, I would be down. I could... I mean, you gotta try everything once. No, right. I can't do anything with blood. You have to. It's too much iron. It's like uh, mancia. It's like the blood sauces that Puerto Ricans eat. I can't do it. You it if, you, if you don't think about it, it's really not that bad. I, you just try everything once. Is it super irony though? Yes. Like, yeah. yeah, I can't do it. So we got our corn. Just think about it as like duck soup. Yeah, it's just duck a soup. little strong. Just a little strong. <laughs> strong duck soup. I don't know. I I want to, but I'm like scared. Oh, this, this, this corn's going to be hot. Okay. Jazz, we'll bring you over to the Polish side. Okay. I'm, it, I'm we'll down. get there sometime. We'll get there. I'm down. I'm ready. I'm, 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 I'm open. All right, so I'm not going to burn myself, but I am. Are you going to rub butter on it? No, no, no. Why are you doing it like that? We're not going to eat it off the cob? You said? I asked you earlier, are we taking oh. it off the cob or on the cob? You said off the cob. Oh, that's fine. 
Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> we had this conversation. I don't remember that conversation. Uh, juggle! <laughs> yep. We can do both plating. No, no, no. We're going to do it like that. <gasps> Brian, and I, Brian and I can juggle. Barley, you can eat the corn on the floor. Let, do you want me to do this for you? <laughs> Barley's had a lot of chips. So I hope that's okay. That's totally Has fine. He? he loves it. It's okay. It's well, he keeps telling me that he's the best. Oh, excuse me, the best boy. He is the best boy. You guys, and we he talked is, about our recipe before. And he excels right. at paw giving. Paw giving is love giving. This is all planned. Oh god, you guys, it's so hot. Are you getting corn sweats? I'm getting the burning of the fingers corn. This is where Hi. I help, help kill. All right, so. Oh, it hurts. If you don't have hot mittens, this might be something you want to wait to cool. You never want to cut too close to the corn, too, because then you get the stock of it. Not very good. I got Will Smith men in black fingers now. What does that mean? <laughs> you remember when he burns off his, he burns off his fingerprints? You, you need that? another drink. Kale, your mom would love doing this. Aww. Yeah, she would. David, the word the word is juggle tonight. All right, juggle. 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 As Kale would say. No, 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 no. All right. Coming over to juggle. Barley is eating corn. That hurts. And chips. It hurts. Jess. Kale, you got corn. No, it just happened. Jess, go over here, juggle. Oh my God, there's corn everywhere. Barley's okay. bar oh, oh I need, if I need anybody it. knows, how do you say cheers in Polish? Because so far I only know one word. What? How do you say it? Well, I know how to say hello in Polish, which is Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Ooh. Rory, if you know any Polish, please share. <laughs> I'm curious. Okay. So now Jazz is the master of elote. And I'm going to help clean some of this up. And then, can I put a little more lime How in How do you say cheers in Polish? You can. And we have so much I corn. Oh, right, I'm going to say it for you guys. Poje zdrowie. Doesn't need more salt. Poje is cheers in yeah. Polish. And pepper. Fiore is dobre. Fiore is... I can't feel my tongue enough to say this completely. <laughs> Sorry, um, Laura. <laughs> you guys, but this is amazing. Nelly, the wedding is going to be lots of fun. Nelly and I are going to dance like crazy. Oh, I, can I can't already wait. Feel it. I can't wait. Do you want to grab the big bowl? Yes. Um, are we going to plate this singularly or, or just one? Just doing a big bowl, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going back to elotes. You got mayo. You got queso fresco. You got chile and butter. Chile, 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 chile powder. I'll take care of the cheese. Where is the chile at? <gasps> Jeff what? wants to know where you got your giant peeler. Mom, let me just have some of the cheese. Oh, the peeler is from Tim. Tim, where did you get the Tim? Tim, where did you get it? Okay, so where, again. Where is it? We oh, got wait, who said? Jeff said? Yeah. This one? The giant peeler, yes. This was a gift from Tim. Zoodle Chef. From Zoodle Chef? Who got it from? ZoodleChef.com? Zoodle Chef. Zoodle Chef is all one word. Looks like it. ZoodleChef.com okay. is on the handle. All right, so I'm It was a gift and it's amazing. I'm doing about two, we have four corns. Two tablespoons of butter, and we got Parmesan. Well, pa Parmesan, we're doing um, the um, queso fresco instead. No, queso fresco. No, I put I do queso fresco. I know. What's our one? It was a comment. Oh, who said Parmesan? Dad, no, I want to put queso fresco. Papa Paralis. And now I'm gonna get. So I have. I'm doing the butter first because the corn is hot. Corn is hot. 
popcorn is hot. I need, to, I need to get a spoon for the salsa. You still eating it? I'm just start just start eating it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the butter's in there. Barley really loves the chips, whatever they are. The corn chips, yeah. yeah. He he is a fan. Ten out of ten would recommend. Based on the amount of drool on my leg. Oh, I bet. So that's the butter. Butter's melting. You need one? Um, do you want to start breaking up the cheese? Yes. You also, can put the ceviche in the barley, fridge. 10 out of oh, 10 would recommend. Breaking up the case of rice that's the, that's the funnest thing. I love it. Yeah, because then you get cheesy bits on your fingers. Mm -hmm. We're going to put some in there? Yes. Because then you do like, this is how you bake, break up the case of fresco. You have a chunk of it, and you do one for me. <laughs> Now you one for the dish. <laughs> when do you hate when do you take your lactate? Uh, you don't. You no. Don't Not anymore. He's getting married, so he doesn't care. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't take the lactate before. Alright, and I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of mayo. There is lactate on the registry, by the way. Oh god, please, yes. There is? Yes, I need it. <laughs> we added it. So quarter cup of mayo, we're just gonna mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Yum. Okay, I'm putting more cheese in here. Put, yeah, it needs more cheese. And then... I'm gonna put some cheese on the top, too. I'm gonna use cilantro. Yeah, that'll be at the end. And next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add oh. chili powder. And I'm gonna say about uh, a quarter <coughs> teaspoon, depending on how spicy you want it. And so, after that... Kale's gonna chop up some cilantro. I'm gonna put it in the bowl. Kale, Suze M says you need Angelica Duria to watch you. Oh yeah? You can do that. Barley's licking everything. Licking my hand. He's He's managing. Hello. He is. And he's very underpaid. He's probably mad, like, where's my stuff at? All right, so now we're going to do a little more cheese on top. My little touch that I like to do is to, yeah, so Kale's going to do cheese on the top. I love chili flakes, so I'm going to do a little touch of chili flakes. And then this. Some cilantro. Look at that. And then, boom, bada, bing, you're going to go ahead and grab some lime and do some freshly squeezed lime on top. And I'm going to move one of these cameras over to the table so we can see everything as after it's plated. This would be a good area to see that. Brian and Laura, do you guys want to come sit at the table? We would love to come sit at the table. All right, so you we You guys can sit at the other end. Can I bring my bowl of salsa with me? Bring the bowl of salsa. Yes. Where is Barley's chart? I know, right? Sorry, Barley. And then... table. Rory, can you pull? Because <laughs> if Rory can polka, he and I are going to polka at your wedding. All right. Get down. Brian has two left feet, so he doesn't know how to polka. <laughs> I don't know how to polka either. There's... We'll teach you. It's not that hard. I can't wait. So All right. Our friends yeah. getting ready at the table. It's literally. I'm jealous you guys are there. I'll right take now. it. We're, that we're sounds awesome. This weekend, so it's going to be great. All right. So, next is potatoes. We need to get this camera situated. That's just me standing in front of the camera. It's no big deal. All right. So, scoopy, 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 scoopy. Where's our scoopy, 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 scoopy? So, then the potatoes, if you guys see, we've got them all crispified. We're gonna put them in. And these are very hot. Ah! Yeah, the potatoes are very hot too, which is a good thing. So and let's- I think the potatoes need a little cilantro too. No, grab chorizo. Yeah, and chorizo. <laughs> Ooh, barley potato for you, bud. So we're gonna do some chorizo on top. I would do more. I would go heavy. One more scoop. You see the potato? 
Awesome. No, that's my hand. There we go. All right, so we got chorizo, and then we're going to do some queso fresco. You want to do some queso? I don't know what barley's eating, but... Potato. Oh, potato. Oh, okay. We're going to do you know, some... The food of our people. Has anybody noticed Jasmine's famous yellow slippers throughout all of their broadcasts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's true. Influencer. I oh, love... Do you see this? I love Target. Do you see this? Wait, hold on. This? One more. One more. Douse. And the sour cream. Oh, my God. And we're done. This... Are you guys serious right now? You seeing this? <laughs> Who wants to be here? And I think that's it, right? For real. So, we got more sour cream. Yeah. Kale's got his, uh... Oh, we need spoons for this. So we have all of our deliciousness. Wait, no, we're missing two things, love. Uh, the ceviche? <laughs> oh yeah, you guys got ceviche too. Here, grab a spoon for the potatoes. We got spoon for potatoes, for the corn. Oh shit. We got Jasmine swearing. <laughs> it's no big deal. It's a no. It's not? Nope. Oh. And then, so we do ceviche. So we're going to do that. And that. And I think that's it. Oh, more uh, tortilla chips if necessary. So there, there is a, uh, a way that we... A fun way to plate the ceviche, which we've done in the past, which I'll kind of show you real quick. Since you guys see how these kind of curl up, it's kind of cool to take these and plate them. Crown them. Do you want me to hold them? Yeah. So they'll... Can we see this here? Let's make sure we can see this on the camera. There you go. Crowning it. And they will just kind of fill in the middle. And then, da! And then it'll kind of be amazing like that with the chips facing out. I'm ready to. And then there we go. Eat that. And, and we'll go over one more time what we got going on here. Hold on, you guys. I'm just moving lights around. I have enough lights to go around. So we have the elote with queso fresco, cilantro, chili powder, butter, deliciousness. We have our chipotle salsa with chipotle tomatoes, jalapeno, cilantro. Of course, everything has lots of lime. Then we have refried potatoes with our uh, pork chorizo, um, crema, queso fresco, cilantro. House-made plantain chips, um, which uh, we shaved with a mandolin. And then a mahi-mahi uh, ceviche with kind of like a twist with Caribbean style. So we did some fresh mango, red onion, um, tomato, cilantro, Lime, lemon, orange, serrano, jalapeno. Oh, so good. So good. Ah. And Barley's ready for it, too. Say hi, Barley. Barley's totally ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> and we have margaritas. Ah. Juggle. 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 Okay, where's your margarita? Salud. Cheers. Cheers, oh, everyone. Margaritas. All right, let's do our last shout out. We want to thank everyone for watching once again. This was an awesome time. Seriously. This, here's my margarita. Right here. <laughs> Jalapeno. Jalapeno. No, it was great. Honestly, guys, thanks for watching us again, and thanks for um, supporting us, Brian and Laura. Thanks for Looks joining so good. us. Looks for good. Us. Yeah. Sending lots of love. We love everybody. Thanks for watching. And uh, again, we... make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and the little bell because that'll notify you when we go live. If you didn't see it already, by blasting it out on social media. And just go ahead and send everyone in your contacts list the, the link. Just do it. They won't care. And if you actually make this stuff at home, like you really do it and you want us to send you the recipe, the ingredients. We will. We'll definitely do it um, because, well, we know... This is good food, and it makes our heart sing, and hopefully it makes your heart sing, too. Also, follow our Instagram, mm -hmm. which is at Mise Plaza, M-K-E, which is M-I-S-E-E-N-P-L-A-C-E-M-K-E. We did it. And that will show when we go live and also other sorts of cooking tips and stuff online. Yep. All right. We're going to go eat all this stuff with our friends now. Yes. And get really full and then go to sleep early. So, we'll see you guys later. Bye!
Have a good night. We'll see you next time.